I'm Greg Poljasic, stuntman scientist. We're going to be talking about practical stage effects. Blood, guts, gore, things you can make at home with ingredients you can buy at any grocery store. These effects are perfect for your cosplay, zombie movie, vampire movie, or theatrical production that needs special effects. So let's go inside and talk about how to use the blood we've put together. Okay, we've taken our ballistics gel out of the refrigerator after it sat there for an hour. Why don't you guys just touch that? Just touch it and bounce on it. See how that's different? Mm -hmm. How's that different than before? It's, like it's bouncy. formed. Right, it's formed. It's a little more bouncy. Before we put it in the refrigerator, it was liquid and we can move through it, kind of like a soft grits or an oatmeal, right? So now this has bloomed. Now we're ready to go ahead and do the double boiling process. So the reason we double boil is because if it's right on the pan, the heat's going to come up and only go through this and potentially burn it. We put a little water in the saucepan. That allows the water to absorb the heat and transfer the heat into the pot to liquidate our ballistics gel. If I could have you put just a little tiny bit of water into there. You only need a little bit in your saucepan because as you put the pot in the saucepan, water displaces, will be displaced out of it and you don't want to spill it everywhere. So we have a nice amount. Yeah, there he scoops it. It's almost like scooping a face off, just peeling it face off right in there. Okay, we have this here. So gross and lovely. Good. Pop that in, no water spilling out. And then we'll put this just on a medium heat. And then once you turn the stove off, be, keep an eye on anything. You never want to turn anything on the stove and just fully walk away from it. You got to keep an eye on it. But you don't need to be directly over it or hovering over it. Just keep a close eye to see when it starts melting. But be aware that your surfaces are hot and you're dealing with hot surfaces. So you don't want any burns or anything. So while this is double boiling, we're waiting for this to liquidate, we're going to start making some gack, okay? So we're going to grab our glue. So what we need, any kind of glue. As long as it has a special ingredient in it, you read the back and it has alcohol, polyvinyl alcohol. That's what you need. Now, gentlemen, what I need you to do is I want you to pour this glue. You pour that one into the bowl. You pour this one into the bowl and then refill those containers and pour it back. Good. There it is. Get that glue in there. Squeeze it. Nice. All right. That's good enough. Now fill that up with water and then pour that water back in here. Okay, and while they're doing that, I'm going to take this ingredient, this borax ingredient. This is sodium borate. You take one teaspoon, one teaspoon of this borax, and you can pour it over your little measuring cup. If you get a little more than a teaspoon, that's okay. So we're going to put that in there, and then we're going to fill this up with one cup of water. It's going to make a solution, and that's the solution we're going to pour into our little mixture here. Okay, so you have yours. Good, go ahead and pour that back in there. I'm going to fill this up. So I'm just going to stir this up just a little bit. Now we have a solution with our borax in it. Right here we just have the glue that's moving around. It's not really stuck to each other. It's moving and sliding past each other, right? Polyvinyl alcohol is a long polymer chain and they're just sliding by each other, nice and smooth. So now what I want to do is you're going to slowly pour this in while you stir, okay? Slowly pour it in and stir. So just pour it in slowly. He's going to stir. We want to make sure the borax at the bottom gets in there. Stir and then see if you start noticing the change. There you go. Just stir it. Go ahead and pour the rest in there. There we go. You see how it's starting to clump up? Okay. Good. Let's make sure we get that borax in there at the bottom. Let me scoop this down. There. Get that nice in there. Good. Because this is our key ingredient. The sodium borate is going to take the polyvinyl alcohol chains, that long polymer chain, is going to link them up together. That's going to make it start sticking Turn to the spoon. Like, there we like go. Like marshmallow cream. That's it. Yeah, just like a nice little marshmallow cream that you don't want to eat. It looks like marshmallows. It looks delicious. Does not taste good on a graham cracker with chocolate, okay? So avoid the temptation. I will too. So now the fun part. What's the most fun part to do when you're making these gross products? Touching them. Touching them. Yes, that's the most fun part. You have to put your hands in there. Get that spoon out of here. Peel that off. Yeah, that's it. Like a now face. we have our nice little gag. Yeah, like a face, like skin. So go ahead and pick that up. Good. Why don't you, you want to take a piece? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> take a piece. And now, see how it's all sticky? Yeah, once that water starts to dry off, you have a nice little gag substance, right? At any point in the process, you can add color to it. But know that you're adding dye and you're probably going to manipulate that dye with your fingers. So your fingers are going to get temporarily stained. But as the water goes, see now you have this nice substance as it dries. Nice little gack. You can play with at home. 
I don't recommend eating it, but it is non-toxic, so it is good, it is safe for your skin, it is safe for you, but please, please don't put it in your mouth. Now, what do we do with this gag? What do you think we can do with this? What does this remind you of? Organs. Organs, yeah, absolutely. If you matter. color it, you can make any kind of organ. What did you say? Matter. Like matter. brain matter. Yeah, like brain matter, like gray matter coming out of the brain. You have an eyeball, you can make a shape of a tongue and rip a tongue out. So many cool things you can do with gag. Cool? All right, so while you're playing with the GAC, keep playing, make different shapes. I want to see different organs that you make out of that. I'm going to come back to our ballistics gel, which is starting to turn liquid, all right? I'm going to briefly lift this up so everybody can see that it's starting to turn a little bit liquid. So we have that. That's what we want from that foamy thing that was bouncing. It's turned back into a liquid, and it's starting to turn the color clear. So this is what we want. We want this to be this nice liquid shape. And we need to make sure that all the thickness and all the chunks have turned liquid before we pour into our mold. So this is about ready to go. Now I'm going to pour it into our little lung mold. So we're going to have here. Now we have it. We turn our stove off to make sure it is off. But remember, the stove is going to remain hot. It doesn't automatically cool down. So we have our lung mold that we have created. And then I'm going to pour the ballistics gel that's liquid into our little mold. I'm going to scoop it in. And there we go. So that's going to take up all the space. That's going to have some really cool veins to it. It's going to have a nice texture to it because of the aluminum foil. So we're going to have that spread out. We can put that back. And then if you want to spread it out, remember this is hot, so you don't want to touch it with your hands. So you want to use your utensils to spread it out as much as possible. We'll have a nice little thin lung shape. Yeah, that looks good. Good. Are you guys happy with the way that lung's starting to look? Mm -hmm. All right. So we're starting to have this, I don't want to tip it too much, but we have a nice little lung brew in there in our very quick makeshift mold from aluminum foil. And then now the last step for the ballistics gel, is you put it in the refrigerator for 12 to 24 hours. The longer it's in there, the better it will cure. That's what happens when it solidifies, it's called curing. So what have you guys come up with? Well, it's not really an organ, but I made like a tongue. <laughs> tongue could be an organ, right? It's a tongue, it's a like, kind of muscular. Right, it's a tongue, it's a piece of the body, yeah, so that's good enough for me, that works. What did you make? A very messed up kidney. Very messed up kidney, it was out of the body, so yeah, it's, it's in rough shape. So good, I'll take it, it's a very messed up kidney. This is what I made the other day. This is from the ballistics gel that you guys helped with. They colored it. This is what the final product of the ballistics gel looks like. This is a nice ballistics gel heart. These gentlemen, the assistants, colored it in a beautiful red color, adding a little bit of green dye to give us this nice dark color to it. So this is the final product of the Blistics Gel. This is the GAC that you can shape and mold into whatever you want. And both of these are wonderful ways to make organs cheaply, quickly, and safely that are non-toxic and safe for your skin and body.